Okay, guys. We have returned for some trauma team. When we last left off, we just finished saving Naomi with CRS01. And now we're moving on to what seems to be a final cinematic The Seventh Doctor. A new mystery. Or perhaps an answer. I don't know. One of the two. Let's see. Focus on your heart was removed. You're safe. I see. And the others? Same as usual. It's like this whole thing was a bad dream. Maria's fighting with the paramedics like always. <laughs> oh my god, that was a fist. Dr. Freebird's being twisted around his patient's finger. <laughs> I don't think there's much to say about Dr. Cunningham. <laughs> and lastly, he went back to prison. But... It seems his circumstances have changed somewhat. I see. This world may be brief, but to reject it is dishonorable. Huh? You can't give up. There's someone who still needs you. I know. Even if it is only for a little while longer. I don't know about that. What? Dr. Kimishima. The dormant genetic disease you had has completely vanished. What are you saying? I mean, I'm... You're not going to die. We believe that your cells... Their disease factor was expelled by the Rosalia virus. <gasps> that means... I'm... Dr. Kimishima, I have a message from all of us who helped you. There may be relapse. There's no way to know the future. But still, we want you to keep looking forward to living your life. Know me! Alyssa! Thank you. Thank you so much. And that was touching. Looks like these are the credits. With some rock music. Finish the game? So yeah, Naomi was cured. Her, it seems her genetic disease that she had beforehand was actually eradicated by the Rosalia virus. Ironically. And since we removed the Rosalia virus, then she had no remaining disease. Or so they think. So, one virus came in, killed off the other virus. It was also made a mutated form of that virus at the same time, and then killed that virus so that she has no virus. Or no disease. Wow. So I guess Rosalia did save someone. Technically. Technically. We also have to save him from the virus itself. So 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play as we're going through the credits here. This whole game, we went through the, the storyline of six different health professionals. All the way to a health epidemic known as Rosalia. We got to know these characters pretty well through their storyline and their back and their backgrounds. We knew about Sierra Salon, who was a criminal, who was responsible for a large uh, bio attack disaster about eight years ago in the game. But he's a gifted surgeon, and he is a very vital part into a lot of the, the lives saved. We then made Maria, who is a first respond paramedic. She gets first aid treatment to patients at a scene to be transported out. She's a very uh, aggressive personality. She's not afraid to take control. She she wants to do everything by herself. Oh yeah, and CRS the one was kind of she was kind of timid, but he was very very confident at the same time. He knew his abilities. He was kind of mod he was pretty modest. And I believe we had uh, Hank Freeburg, the Hulk, the Brock Man. He was an orthopedic surgeon. Specializing in bones and surgery with, I guess you can say, uh, unorthodox tools. He was a very uh, self-righteous, not self-righteous. He was a very like a man. He was a very man about justice and equality, and just advocating strongly, no matter what. And he really valued life. He never wanted to see anyone die for no reason. No reason was good enough for a person to die in his eyes. Something we can really admire about Hank. It is never giving up mentality. His most significant patient he saved was Claire, or no, not Claire, Chloe, I think. Or was it Claire? I'm pretty sure it was Claire, actually. And he had he has joy just from giving her life making her see that life's worth living. And then we had Tomoe Tachiban. She was an endoscopic surgeon. So she worked with uh, an endoscope that goes through your invades you know, your body, just kind of works that way from inside out. Not really much invasion of the body needed. So, uh, yeah, she was a very heavy person about honor. Not even able to finish my analysis. She was a very heavy person about honor. Oh, never mind. Cutscene. Looks like it's all come to an end. Huh? Oh, you look beat. You want me to examine you? <laughs> yeah, well, not surprised you're tired. You did well. You keep standing there, you're gonna catch a cold, you know. Is he talking to us directly? He broke in the fourth wall. Seventh member is us. Yeah, save clear data. Okay, I remember we were turned off. There we go. Loading your character data will unlock additional features. Hmm. Aha, <laughs> my helicopter scene. So, clear data. Greetings, Doctor. What's up? 
New reports have come in regarding the Rosalia virus infections in the Portland area. In the pandemic has been confirmed, remedied. Upon recommendation from hospital staff, you have received specialist authorization. What does that mean? A new difficulty level, specialist, is available for those with high degrees of medical skill. A special gameplay element, Dr. Meadows, is now available. What? Dr. Meadows is a system of medical performance assessment. Fulfill special conditions in each stage to be awarded with applicable medals. Details about the medals you have earned will be displayed on the information screen. Doctor, I have found something of interest. Sorry. There are records that have been deleted from this hospital's data archives. I have recovered these files. Please confirm them using the extra icon in the lower left. Something's not right. Hi, I'm your surgeon. I will be operating on you today. Ah, that's not it either. Hi, I'm... <laughs> now, why is this smiling thing so difficult? Wait. Maybe this environment's the limiting factor. This cell's always maintained at zero degrees Celsius. Human muscle expands and contracts to produce heat. So if it's cold, muscles tighten to maintain body heat. Ugh, I can't believe it. My smiles are so stiff because of the cold temperatures. <laughs> I heard him talk so much. But a truly skilled doctor gives relief to his patients. All right, once more. I must perfect the ultimate smile. Hi, I'm... What in the world are you doing? <laughs> Hi, I'm a surgeon. Quit goofing off. You better be ready for surgery next week. Damn it. I need someone better than him to practice on. in lately? Why do these frilly things keep coming into style? I mean, I can't run in something like this, can I? Hmm. Well, 
Well, this isn't so bad. I can pull this off after all. Damn, I look good. <laughs> Kinda drafty. Check me out. Maria, I'm coming in. Ah! <coughs> Are you feeling okay? Any recent head injuries? <laughs> you colossal ass! How could you say that? I, I can be a pretty girl too, you know. Colossal. You're supposed to go, wow, Maria, you're pretty darn sexy. Sexy, huh? Excuse me, I have to go put my eyes out. <laughs> Son of a... You won't get away with that! I'll pull out your tongue and wring your neck with it! <laughs> You're sexy, eh? Guess I gotta go put my eyes out. <laughs> Extra. suit reaching its limits. The um, chest area is getting a little tight. Hmm. Is it possible I've put on extra weight? Nah. These pecs are rock solid. And these latissimus dorsi. He was referring to his back muscles, by the way. Uh oh. Well, that's one heck of a hole. I'll have to start all over. Are you here? Uh, yes, milady. I am here. Oh, good. There's something I'd like to ask you. I'll answer if I can, milady. Oh, don't worry. We've spent quite a while in this land. Do you feel we're not able to train as much as in Koga? What do you mean, milady? A shinobi's skills are fully put to use on the battlefield. Don't you think we require a more practical training? I see. Indeed, I concur. Splendid. Then are you ready, Hanzo? Uh, milady? I'm not sure I understand. Milady, what are you doing? I will practice my bow, and you will practice dodging. Ah, ah, very efficient, but... Ooh. This is uh, rather trying for this old uh, body of mine. Ah. Hanzo, why didn't you dodge it? This... this is just unreasonable, milady. Why didn't you dodge? <laughs> I was only trying to hurt you. Alright. Time for Gabe. Gabe. Now, this part's the most important, Roni. I need your support. Understood, Doctor. First, crack an egg into a bowl. <laughs> what? A bowl? I... I don't... have anything like that lying around. Requisite utensils for this recipe are insufficient. Would you like to prescribe a different dish to make? No. 
It's all about flexibility. We just need a container. This should do. Dr. Cunningham, that is a beaker. I know. Tell me how to make scrambled eggs with a beaker. I find nothing in my database that matches that instrument. What? It's the same thing! Just adjust the container size. Understood, Doctor. Please specify your search criteria. Hey, man, I just want something to eat. Do you have any idea what it's like to be on an empty stomach? I do not, Doctor. Only humans experience hunger. Gah! You know, you really get on my nerves some days. Oh, my stomach. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> How do I cook? I'm gonna like put egg into a beaker, then put on a Bunsen burner, and then do that. Judging from the footprint depth, the culprit weighs. What's the matter, Alyssa? I'm hungry. Let's have lunch. We haven't eaten since this morning. Oh, sorry. I was caught up in work. What do you want to eat, Alyssa? I can pick? <laughs> yes, anything you like. Just tell me. I have me. a choice. I want... something you cook, Noni. Uh, me? Yeah, I mean, we always eat out. I want to eat something you cooked. Hmm, really? Well, I'm just not a very good chef. It'll be okay. Just cook whatever. I see. <laughs> There's only one dish I can guarantee will come out well. Ooh, what is it? Curry. I spent some time in India years ago. India? Wow, Nomi! That's amazing! I'm surprised you know what India mm -hmm. is. Well, we'll need the ingredients first. Cumin, paprika, cayenne, turmeric, and garam masala. I'll need to buy some katsuri methi. Hey, Nomi? And then... What? It'll be delicious. Um, are you planning for lunch or dinner? Uh... <laughs> Cause I kinda wanna eat right now. What's all these cooked, cooking, freaking extras? I wanna see what these medals are. Wow, that's amazing! I didn't expect you to be this great. <laughs> There's one hell of a spare you got there. What can I do to get you working for me? Marvelous. Have you ever thought about studying forensic medicine? Huh. Not bad, Brewster. You've done your country a great service. Remarkable! Perhaps you should turn your eye toward the arts of Shinobi next. Huh. That's amazing, Doctor. I'll bring you some leftovers the next time I make some. Wow! You're amazing, Doctor! I want to be just like you someday. Ah, such brilliance. By the way, have you ever considered marriage?
goals you can just do, just kind of side goals you can do in your mission, I guess. I don't know what you're supposed to do, it just kind of gets descriptions. Guys, hope you guys enjoyed this whole let's play because I enjoyed playing this game. I don't know what I'm gonna play next, but hopefully it'll be something good. Thank you guys. Check out my other videos and peace.